Does that make you feel any it, more comfortable, Christina? It, it, it doesn't. Why put any child in danger? If they, also, my stepdaughters, both of them, they said they're 14 years old now. They also both had COVID and they, they absolutely fine. They, they went through the same symptoms, a bit of temperature, a bit of sore throats. They're fine. They're strong girls. They're very active. And we know now there is a data that the, the jabs affect, um, uh, you know, the periods and the, the perhaps fertility in the future. We don't have enough data. Why would I jeopardize my daughter? I mean, I'm a parent. This is to do with my children and everybody can do whatever they feel comfortable with. But yes, I you're talking to yourself and I completely understand years, that. I want to see years and years of data. Five years from now, maybe I'll have a very different opinion on that. If you can show me that 99% of those vaccines, please don't to look, you, look down, look at me if I'm talking to you, because I'm a mother and I want to make sure my children are healthy. They went through COVID, all three of them, and they're absolutely fine. But the vaccine, I don't know. Show me the data that they're going to have normal fertility, that they're going to have normal periods. Okay. Well, let, have no let issues. Dr. Pankani respond to that. The issue of fertility, Dr. Pankani, well, this is something that a lot of parents worry about when it comes to is, teenage girls. Look there, look, there is no evidence that the vaccine has any interference whatsoever with your fertility or your periods. And you do not have to believe me. What? I refer you to the Royal College of Obstetricians, gynecologists, who are learned in themselves and they're not a body of one. They will all say, the vaccines do not interfere with fertility or your periods.